morning everyone. Today I'm working on the cabinet faces. Louie took all of them off. I'm giving the edges a quick sand and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of them just so that way any of the little imperfections from cutting gets covered up and it'll look a lot cleaner. So as you can see, the edges just got a little dinged up from the saw because we've been cutting for a really long time and probably need a new saw blade. I've got some 80 grit and I've got some 120 and I just go over it with the 80 grit and it really like smooths that edge out a lot. That's just one quick little pass. And so I've just been the, going around the entire perimeter then going back over it real quick with the 120 just to smooth it down to finish. All right, so now I've got all the cabinets lined up in the garage. I'm gonna give them a quick paint and then I'll be right back. Right now we already have paint coming off and you can see like it just gets really dirty everywhere and like paint's already coming off here. Super dirty. Um, it's just terribly dirty, oh my gosh. For our magnet locks. Good morning. We're back at doing the cabinets again. Louie's working on um, our bike rack right now, trying to figure out how to make that. So I'm gonna keep working on this. So commence time lapse. Okay, so I just looked it up on YouTube and in the Amazon product description for what I bought. And some people were suggesting to use a heat gun to help wrap the corners. It's very stiff as I was trying to wrap the corners and it didn't really want to bend. So Amazon, some people were saying that it's not super great with heat, not high heat, but you can use heat to help ease it up, to help wrap it around edges and stuff, or take wrinkles out. So I'm gonna go grab a blow dryer instead of our heat gun and see if I can use that just enough so I can really get the edges um, laid over nicely. And then I've got duct tape that I really just pull it tight on the back to make sure that the stuff is gonna stay on. So I'm gonna go grab the blow dryer and we'll see if that will help uh, for wrapping the edges. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start by peeling the vinyl and putting it onto the flat side and then try and wrap it around the corners with the heat. We'll see how this goes. This is my first time trying it with the blow dryer, but hopefully this makes the edges um, fold down a lot nicer. on the safe side so I don't have to do it down the road but the heat gun that did the trick 
Okay, and then so after getting all of the tape and the vinyl and everything, I've got to go back through and like cut out the holes from where the hardware goes and for the drawer, the pull and everything. So I'm just taking the X-Acto knife and I find the squishy spot. And I can kind of see the indentation, so then I just slowly follow around. And because our hardware is so close to the edge, um, I don't want to bring it all the way to the edge. I'd rather the hardware just pushes it in there. So I'm just bringing it right to the edge of the circle. You can see there, and then cutting straight across instead of following the circle all the way. That way our edge will always be covered. I'm gonna do that to the other side. And a way to find the edge also, if you're trying, if you can't really feel it as well, but you know that's where the squishy is, is you just stick it in the middle and go to the end and go to all four corners. Like I said, be careful on the, uh, I have to be careful on the edge because our hardware goes right to the edge. But then I can follow the little T and find exactly where I need to cut out. And then up here we had our pulls. And then I used our hardware to find the hole for the screws. And then that way I can go ahead and put everything right back in where it was. Our gimbal. This poor thing has fallen way too many times. I know that thing that deserves a uh, review on it just for the sheer fact that it can take some hits. Yeah, for sure it can. This is the second time it's fallen today, I'm not even gonna lie. And I don't the first time I knocked it off on accident. That one I don't even know what happened. Yep, that time I did it on purpose. Look, the first time was by accident, this time I did it. Okay, now that the camera fell off the table for the second time today, kudos to DJI for having like the best gimbal because somehow it hasn't broken yet. And I'm gonna link this camera because if anybody wants a camera, this is the one to get. It's so nice. It's so easy to use. Uh, it helps, obviously, it's got a gimbal, so it steadies things, and it can take a beating. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if we own it, it needs to take a beating, because... We're not nice to things. We're not nice to things. We try really hard, but, like... We're, we're rough people, I guess. Also, we're always filming when we're, like, doing... Shit. I don't know. Like, we're not just like taking a picture. We're like filming manual labor. But man, does that look so much better? Ah. Party. It's kind of a little dirty though. Does it come off? I think it's just my dirty thing. Oh yeah, just my dirty ass fingers. That's fine, I'll wipe them down later. yesterday.
on today. That's the goal. Without further ado, back to cabinet wrapping. <laughs> into our kitchen because it is freezing out today. It's like 55 degrees and I know that, that doesn't sound that bad, but after like summer and just having those 90 degree days, my body is not used to it anymore. Very excited to do this. We also got the brackets that my dad built and these are gonna go on the walls that will allow the back of the couch to have a rod going between these two and that's how we're going to have it swivel. Just to make them prettier, I'm going to wrap them in the white vinyl that we already used to try and like blend it all in. And then I'm going to move on to wrapping the kitchen in the green. First one is done and I think it turned out really well. I actually ended up doing three layers on the face pit face plate um, and just one around the shaft to try and at least hide the fact that it's a metal and like it's metal and it will just blend in hopefully. I'm gonna do the other one real quick and then move on to the kitchen stuff next. And I was really impressed with how easy this all stuck down. The heat was also really good to use with this uh, vinyl and just took all of the imperfections away as soon as I put a little bit of heat on and smoothed it out. So I'm gonna keep going and finish the rest of the kitchen tonight hopefully and then that way we can reassemble everything and the kitchen will be completely done too. Under the drawers. Okay, so this bottom drawer is really large and it's like honestly almost the size of the paper I bought. So I underbought when I was, I guess I wasn't thinking of the edges when I bought this stuff. 
but I think it's gonna work just fine if I line it up on the bottom edge and I'll be able to wrap it up here on the top. 